room. We are going to begin with President Moon Jae-in's big luncheon meeting, which happened yesterday. He gathered together the leaders from the parliament, the nation's top courts and the government as well. Not only did the session serve as a chance to update them on the recent series of summits that happened in the US and in Germany, talks also focused on kick-starting a deadlocked National Assembly. Our Hwang Ojun starts us off. President Moon Jae-in had a lunch meeting on Wednesday with the so-called Five Next in Command, namely Prime Minister Lee nak National Assembly Speaker Chung se kyun Chief Justice Yang seung tae Head of the National Election Commission Kim yong dok and Acting Chief Justice of the Constitutional Court Kim Hee-su. While the primary objective was to brief them on his recent trips to the U.S. and Germany, nearly two weeks in length, the president didn't shy away from expressing his frustration with the current political gridlock. <laughs> National Assembly Speaker Chong stressed the necessity of political cooperation, saying, quote, cooperation is about being considerate and begins with yielding and taking a step back. Acknowledging that the parliament belongs to the people, Chong expressed his dissatisfaction with the current standstill and indicated the ruling party should have a sense of responsibility for an amicable operation within the National Assembly. Such comments come as a tug of war continues to take place between lawmakers in implementing some of the key pledges of the Moon administration, including a supplementary budget bill worth about 10 billion U.S. dollars, primarily for creating more jobs. Referring to his talks with the 13 leaders around the world during his trips, that's 10 heads of state and three heads of global organizations, President Moon said that Korea is not alone when it comes to being concerned about the global volatility due to the rising protectionist views around the world and aiming to achieve equality, fairness, acceptability and sustainability of economic growth and jobs. During lunch with the Big Five, President Moon mentioned how the economy is improving around the world. And he once again emphasized that for Korea's economy to rise along with them, the supplementary budget needs to be passed. He said it's in line with the rest of the world's efforts to keep the growth momentum going. Hwang Ho-jun, Arirang News.